Hey guys, we're back. Round two. Let's see where this takes us. Thank you for coming back. Welcome. It's awesome to have you again. Uh, how did you go with the, the two fragrances from last week? I loved it. I took it home. You know, my husband got to smell my arms. <laughs> It's like, quite interesting. Like, here, smell this one. Now smell this one. Um, you had the Italian, and to yes. start the Italian, so this was Italian leather yep. uh, by Mimo. Um, you were, I told you that it was going to be polarizing. Mm. And you, at first you were like, bleh. and then? I actually really liked the way it settled down on my skin. Right. It was so different to right. when I was smelling it on the card. Right. So I feel like it just pays that you need to spend a little bit of time with it. 100%? To get me out of my comfort zone. Yeah, and, and look, and that's what I want to do. So we're doing yeah. it again. All right, so okay. um, I'm basing myself, so uh, if you're new to this conversation, uh, Tash mentioned that she loves perfumes, but loves particular fragrances in her collection. Uh, mm -hmm. One of them was Black Orchid by yeah. Tom Ford, and the other one is Bo Bottega Venata something. With a purp purple, with a purple, with a, like, uh, little uh, change, change, change. velvety thing. Yeah, Call me, I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> call me. Um, so the, the, <laughs> so that kind of Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. My husband tells me up all the time. <laughs> um, so the, the idea behind, well, the, the, what, what I found with those two fragrances when I looked at them, mm -hmm. that they were Orientals, all right? So yes. they were in that sort of um, soft, no, no, it's not, it wasn't soft Oriental, but it was definitely Oriental. Mm. Um, had the vanilla, vanilla in it. Had the vanilla in yeah. it and stuff like that. Yeah. So what I wanted to do today is stay within that that realm. sort of that realm, okay. but we're going to push across a little bit more. Okay. Okay. So with, I'm going to say that this one here is going to be more your uh, style, okay. or this one's going to push in another direction now. Right. Okay. Similar to what we did, African was a winner. It was yes. instant. You it, like the moment I smelt it, it was like sold. Yeah, that's it. Don't yeah. sell to me, but sold. <laughs> Which is, and again, it's because, it, anyway, it's you, the DNA that you like, but, the, yes. but then we pushed it a little bit with Italian. All right, yeah. So we're going to do this one. Now, this one here, let me tell you a little bit about it. It's, um, so it's Mihan Aromatics, actually. I'll let you have a look at it. Okay. Yeah. The company's called Mihan Aromatics. It's a local company. These are Aussies now. Right. Okay. They've been operating for I that. never think, sorry to interrupt, I never think of fragrances coming from Australia, sorry. No, but it, I mean, when, and this is why, again, why I love niche fragrances, mm. because um, where, so when we were able to travel, wherever I went, I would look for the niche fragrance house. So rather than go into a department store where it's the same thing, no matter where and you everybody are. everybody can get it. And yeah. everybody can get it, and yeah. you're gonna smell like 4,000 other people yeah. in the same street. Um, you, 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 you can find a product that is something that is unique, that is unique to the area, all that sort of stuff. So anyway, so if you're traveling to Melbourne, if you're allowed to, um, this fragrance here is actually a local home brew. Uh, right. Well, not home brew, but it's a local <laughs> company that's actually right. doing it. Uh, they're based in Fitzroy. Love the pack. The, sorry, the bottle is, I love the simplicity of it. Very minimalist. Yeah. Yeah. And even, even this, the box itself, it's all recycled paper and right. all that sort of stuff. The amazing thing about these guys is that they are very socially conscious. Mm -hmm. So uh, recycled product, they use um, their ethanol is actually organic cane sugar. Wow. And it's locally sourced. And one ingredient in here, which is the sandalwood, mm -hmm. I shouldn't have shot, told you, oh, but it, oh, I revealed yeah. it too early. <laughs> I was just too excited. But anyway, the Australian sandalwood, so Australia is actually campaigning um, uh, or at, they're at the forefront of having renewable sandalwood oil. Wow. Because normally they have, to, they have to kill the tree. Yeah. You see? Whereas in Australia, they're actually, and it's actually, this is a renowned. How would you do that? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. I won't go into it, it's too much. Side note. But this one here. So Guilty Story, this is what this fragrance is called, is about debauchery. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's an, okay. So interesting right. word to put with fragrances. Okay. What they wanted is guilty story. So a night out that just... You regret? That you regret. It's a guilty <laughs> story, but it's... But, you know, there was fun. And so... Fun in that, right. See what you think of that. You know me well. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, oh, yes. Okay, that's, one thing I find, really nice. isn't it beautiful? Yeah. 
that was really... The one thing that I find about the... So I've got another uh, Mihan Aromatics. Um, they're not big powerhouse. They're not power hitters when it comes to their... their well, for me, all right? Maybe on other people it's different. Mm -hmm. But for me, they don't... The psilogen isn't huge. Mm -hmm. But they're long-lasting and it's an amazing fragrance on my body. Right. And so it's a fragrance that stays with me all day long. And then on top of that, uh, as people come close to you, again, guilty story, mm -hmm. all right? So as people come close to you, they can they're like, whoa, it, it, it almost like it, it becomes another, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's like a body scent. It's, mm. it's very, That's really isn't nice. it beautiful? Yeah. Yep. Love it. How long would that last on you? Oh, again, that, I put, put it on in the morning. I, I go to bed as I'm putting on my pajamas. I smell. can smell it right. I, as I'm moving around my clothing and stuff like that. Mm. I can smell the fragrance popping out again. That's really it's beautiful, nice. isn't it? Yeah. It's very soft. Now, so now what this? Soft, yes. um, so this has on the on the opening notes it has bergamot. So normally most fragrances start off with a citrus note in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it has a bergamot and it has a saffron in there. So a little bit of spice. Mm -hmm. And then in the heart note, it goes into cinnamon. That's why I like it. And then it has a little bit of tobacco in there. All right. Just to give it a bit of a so smokiness. Smoke, but yeah, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> it, but it, it's, it's, it, it's the cinnamon. It's, and actually, it's the saffron and the cinnamon that creates a mystery to the fragrance. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. And then finally, it, when it settles, it goes into that, as we mentioned earlier, it goes into the sandalwood. Mm -hmm. it, but it also goes into vanilla. Say and, you mentioned, too, yeah. and you mentioned that vanilla yeah. is... Something that well, yeah. vanilla on its own, so overly right. vanilla you don't like. Nope. Mix it with something else. Correct. So that orient in that oriental sort of yeah. sphere, the vanilla is very soft. Yes. I would say that the spices come out a bit more. Yeah, first. Yeah, with the sandalwood coming through it. Yeah. No, that. that's I, 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 I'm a big fan of this. Now, yeah. the cost on this is very accessible. I, uh, from memory, when I bought, I think it was 190, but I think at the moment they're about 220 something right. like that. So that's very for my for price a range. Eau de parfum. Long lasting, not amazing silage, as I said. So it doesn't project enormously, mm. but it is a wonderful fragrance that you can you'll smell all day long. That's beautiful. And your husband, as you get close, yes. you're like, hey. hey. <laughs> then you can create your own guilty story. <laughs> all right. So let me move on. So let me tell you about so anything on this guy? Pretty pretty straightforward. Winner. And again, yeah, packaging that. is beautiful. Yeah. It's I love the simplicity. Uh, yeah, and it's they're vegan, uh, they're cruelty free. They do a lot of, so they're very socially conscious. Really Sometimes good. the packaging I find gets me, like, right. it, you well, know, you I see the packaging in the bottle the and I'm like, oh, that looks really nice. Yeah, 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 I agree. All right, so this one here, now we're going to something that's a little bit more bombastic, all right? A little bit more boom, boom, boom. Okay. The, now, for starters, the name of the fragrance is Danger. <laughs> all right. All right, so already you know, you're like, oh, Danger. And the red, the red bottle. Where are we going with this? Yeah. All right, so we have a guilty story, now we're in Danger. danger. Yeah, right. okay, right. So, <laughs> Tell you a little bit of back, uh, background on this guy here. So the, the perfumer is Roger Dove. He's the actual perfumer. In this case here, Mihana Aromatics, they actually got a perfumer to come on board. Whereas here, Roger does his own fragrance. He actually kicked off um, his own label in 2011. Right. Um, so he's only, believe it or not, he's been in the industry forever. Where is he, where's he from? He's English. Right. He's an Englishman. Okay. Um, and he is considered as a master perfumer. Now what happened, this is a true story. Sometimes you hear stories and you're like, eh, that sounds like an urban myth, that sounds a bit made up. So he told the story himself. I was privileged to be part of a masterclass with, with him in it Wonderful. and he was talking about his own fragrances. Right. And he told this story. And that from was, the horse's mouth. From the horse's mouth. Mm. So um, he had someone approach him and say, hey look, can you, we're doing a, a charitable auction, can you create a bespoke fragrance for someone to bid? And he said, oh, sure, no worries. And already he's already established, so right. more than 20 years in the industry. So everyone knew who Roger Dove was, but he was working for somebody else mm -hmm. at that stage. Mm -hmm. And he said, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll do a perfume. Now, he was going up against a Mercedes sports car. He was going up against a, a, a Maldive trip, you know, all-inclusive, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and then he, so what he did... Because he thought, if I have to make a bespoke perfume, mm -hmm. you want a fragrance that's going to be you, mm -hmm. you know? So if you don't Individual, like, yeah. yeah, if you don't like fougere or florals or yeah. anything, it's like, what, what's the point? So yeah. he did this. He had a bottle created, Baccarat bottle, so a very exclusive crystal, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. um, a bottle created, and it was empty. What? And that was auctioned off, and it was the highest item au auctioned off that night 
Wow. It actually beat the Mercedes, the Maldives strips and everything else. An empty bottle, and it was a fancy bottle, but it was an empty bottle. It made him realize, and then he said to the person who won, well, you know, tell me what tell you me, like. Me, yeah. And he made a fragrance for that individual. Wow. And that's where he realized people want their yeah. own scent. Yeah. They don't want to be... I don't want to smell like Joe Blow down the road. They don't, they don't want to be like the herd. Yeah. And, I, and it's almost a little bit, and I, and I say this with a lot of love in my heart, it's almost like going into a department store and getting the same thing that, you know, like on Christmas, and I see these things going out, people buying the same thing. Mm. You smell like everybody else. Yeah. So in this scenario here, he realized that people want a, a fragrance that is different and unique. Yeah. Obviously, the, not the bespoke one, but this is pretty much in that vein. Okay, mm -hmm. so now this one here. This is called Danger. It was re released fairly recently. I think it's about two years old or so. Now this one's gonna challenge you with your scent of what you like or what you sh told me. Good challenge or bad challenge? No, good challenge. I'm smiling, it's good. <laughs> Starts off very fresh. Yeah, actually. Normally yeah. when I smell a smell, it's like I'm instant like, or yeah, you know, but I actually quite like that. This is beautiful. That's really nice. And I, I'm beginning to get the, yeah. so the opening notes are very super fresh. Yes. So there's bergamot and lemon in overdose, according to, to Roger, right? right? But there's lavender in there. I was going to say, I can smell flower, like something floral in there. So that, those opening notes, there's another, there's, there's, it goes into herbs a little bit at the start too, it also has tarragon. But where the overdrive is in the lemon, the bergamot and the lavender. Yes. Can you smell? Yes, I can smell. Can you smell yeah. a little bit of that lemony? Yeah. Fresh, very fresh. It then goes into, um, in the heart notes, it goes into the flowers. So you, you, it has jasmine, lily of the valleys. Lily of the valleys, I can smell that. Right. Yep. So it gets, it gets a little bit softer. Yeah. Um, and then finally, now, in, now this is one thing he said in the masterclass that he names notes, but the truth is there are a, a stack of oils that he uses in there that are, that are the, the chemistry of them concocted in a such a particular way. But he doesn't reveal all the notes, right. the, all the oils that he uses. It, what he did reveal it in the base, it is, it's uh, cacophony. Is that how you say it? Cacophony. How do you say it? <laughs> I don't know. You have to Google it and put it in like a little... <laughs> cacophony. <laughs> I know, there's a lot of them. Uh, so it has things like clove, um, galbanum, le leather, vanilla, um, ambergris. It goes on and on. Right. But I think patchouli is in there too. Uh, it holds its own till the very end because mm. if you have if, if you know those top notes mm -hmm. being very citrus and everything else th those citrus oils are very volatile they actually evaporate very quickly well right now i'm smelling i it's kind of settling into a smell that i can't put my yeah and it, and also you, the one thing that you might smell is the clove it's a little bit on the spicy mm. side maybe that and it's kind of settling into yeah. those oriental well, yeah, 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 yeah 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 the vanilla like, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah now this one on skin you just honestly you it's such a complicated complex mm. but just a, a wonderful and i think that's what he wanted so the, obviously the name is danger and it really was about trying to you know what is dangerous you know mm -hmm. We're, the, the danger there's always a sense of mystery mm -hmm. you know is is this moment going to get volatile right now or are we going to stay calm so you're you're on the edge of your seat and that's what the fragrance does mm -hmm. it's all over the place it mm -hmm. reveals some things but then it goes away then it shows you something lemony but no i can smell the lavender hang on it's a little bit spicy mm -hmm. so this is if anything this is considered as it's aromatic mm -hmm. but it's still in the oriental phrase in right. the, so it's in it, the realm that, yeah right. yeah no yeah, I'd probably wear that. Yeah. It wouldn't be my first choice. I'd probably go there, there, but right. But I definitely. I'd like you to try both. Try, okay, let's try them. Try both. Because on skin. I just like having that bottle on my shelf. Mm -hmm. Just. Yeah. It's a cool bottle. It's a. There you go. <laughs> you break it, you buy it. <laughs> All right, try this one. Oh, so let, 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 I'll let you let. Feel that one first. Right. So you wanna you wanna live in that one for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. It's you. Yeah. It's easy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And again, when when you when you shared with me what you like, I thought, yeah. guilty story. Yeah. It's settled. It's easy. I'm gonna put my money on it. This is gonna be your favorite. <laughs> Not that one. Not that one. That one you can do. This one's yeah. this one's a little bit different. 
I, I'm, I'm curious to know what your husband, Junes, what mm -hmm. he has to say mm -hmm. about this one here. Now this one here, again, unisex. A male and female, they can play. This one does lean a little bit more to, um, to masculine, but because of the flowers and things of that nature in there, it's still, it's, it's, actually, it's actually considered as, uh, it's for a, a, a bon homme, for a man. Right. But again, these fragrances are unisex. Can totally you can wear easily that. wear that. Yeah. You can easily wear that. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I want to know <laughs> what this one does for you. I, I'm curious to know whether. All right, so cost on this one. This one is a lot more expensive. This is four hundred and seventy-nine dollars. Um, it's but oils. Are, I mean, Roger himself said it, and he said it. Look, I'm not being arrogant. He uses the best oils. All right, so it is. It is a bit more expensive, four hundred and seventy-nine dollars. But you know that. Well, there's two parts to it. One, longevity is yeah, awesome. You get your, money worth. you get your money's worth. Yeah. And and again, two sprays. Yeah, two Where sprays. Do where do you know, like one here and one on your, like, this is, I guess, a personal I'm unconventional. Spray. Yeah, I'm unconventional. I like to spray on my chest. Right Not here, right. all right? Because otherwise it'll be too much for my nose. Right. But I definitely spray it on my chest here. Right. So I normally go spray here, mm -hmm. a spray here on my abdomen. Mm -hmm. And it's just, the, it's because of the warms heat. it up too, yeah. Correct, it's the heat. And then if it's a third, if I do, if I do, do a third, I'll put it on my arm right. here. And that just, and as I'm moving around, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Ah, just, you know, but normally if I'm doing two, freight, two sprays, it's here and here. Other people say back of your legs. Hmm. So on the, the, the back of your legs. Um, I'm not a big fan of that. I can't, it's more, that is so that other, as you're walking people, you're creating a trail. Right. But I put on, I do, you know, of course you wear perfume, you know, to. For yourself. Yeah, for yourself, but also, you know, for others. But yeah. I wear it for me. I, I yeah. enjoy, I want to, yeah. you know, it's, it's me. Cool. I, I'm smelling danger smells awesome. Yeah. It Silage, awesome. Longevity, awesome. Silage, moderate, uh, or is it more of a body scent? Um, longevity, it, it will stay with you, but it doesn't project. This yeah. one projects. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It's dangerous. <laughs> That's it. Thank you very much. Any I'm, comments? I'm warming to this one. Mm. It's funny you should say that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's like a yeah go-to for me, but... That maybe, one. maybe let's be a bit dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> Thanks everyone. We'll see you next week. Thanks guys. Bye.